and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today I'm going to be talking about for loops here let's add a variable and let's name the variable inum loop then we connect it to the acd num dot oh wait sorry about that inum loop becomes acd Right, I press control S becomes S E D num dot value. Alright. Now you have I num loop which is equal to set num dot value. Now this is a for loop. So let's start with I num loop. Begin. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I've talked about while loops and while something it does something else. So I think I've talked about while loops and basically it's kind of the same concept. So here we declare a variable called i. Now i, we make it equal to zero. Then while i is not the same number as this. So basically it is while i is less or equal to i num, it's I think it's less or equal, it might be just less, but I believe it's less or equal. It does that. It's the same concept here. Now it just increments by itself. You don't have to add an i plus plus or anything like that because it does it itself. Because here's a two. From zero to this number do but then let's go show message i i we go show message i so let's quickly run the application error oh sorry about that <clears throat> int to string i there now let's run it Now let's make it three times. So let's get the alert just three times. I zero, zero, one, two, three. See? Now you can usually we make I one. This is just to like um, stay kind of consistent because a lot of times we, if you say zero, what it would what happened just a second ago is going to happen, and you're going to get it's going to basically run one extra time. So yeah, we usually sort from one. If you, let's go three again. Alert thing I is one, two, and three. So basically, make I equal to one. We declare I right here. Make I equal to one. While I is less or equal to this number that you put in here. This could be something like five even. Show message and then or any other code here actually actually now where might this be useful now that's something you kind of got to figure out on your own um, i made a game as a project for um, my it class it's saved the ball if you want the source code just comment it down below and i'll just paste like a link there or something you can get the source code and edit and check for yourself but the whole thing kind of runs on this this type of for loop you know it kind of runs on it and the for loop allows it to run perfect to make the run perfect to make the game run perfectly during each player's turn now this usually won't be used for things like that it's more like let's say um let's say you have workers now each worker needs to get a certain amount of money and let's say you have five workers. So from worker one to worker five, increase the amount of money or something like that. And there's a lot of places where you would use this, but I use most, but yeah, just, just, just note that. Usually, basically everything you can do with a while loop, you can do with a for loop. And everything you can do with a for loop, you can do with a while loop. Does not exactly in every case, but in most cases it's like this. 
Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.